For patients who have heart failure, where their heart muscle has gotten weak, one of the complicating factors that can happen is one of their heart valves, the mitral valve, can also start leaking as well, simply because the heart muscle just isn't strong enough to close it. For those patients, it's a really a difficult thing as they struggle with shortness of breath, low energy, um, sometimes a lot of swelling of their extremities as well. And previously, the mainstay of therapy has been different medications, but in many patients, despite those medications, they remain quite symptomatic. In the past, we've looked at options including open chest surgery to repair their leaking heart valve, but ultimately have not found a really great option for them. One of the novel technologies is how to repair a leaking mitral valve through a catheter with a technique called a mitral clip. With the advantages, there's no incisions on a patient's chest, so the patient gets back to living that much quicker, back healing up. What we did not know up until recently is how effective that was. So myself and a number of my colleagues around the country had embarked in a very ambitious clinical research trial called the COAP trial, where we looked at just those patients who were really struggling with heart failure and leaking of their mitral valve. And we investigated how well did this new device, this mitral clip, work. What the COAP trial really showed us for the first time is that for those patients undergoing a mitral clip procedure instead, that, that would decrease the likelihood that the patient would undergo a heart pump or heart transplantation for the duration of that study. And so this is really a paradigm shift that we now have. The recovery period for a mitral clip procedure is a lot quicker. Most patients come into the hospital, get the procedure done, and that afternoon they're able to talk to their family. And we watch them one or two nights in the hospital, usually at most, with many patients going home the very next day. So the recovery period is shorter, and we've always known that. What we didn't know until recently is how well we were helping patients get out of heart failure, how well we were helping patients stay at home and not come back in the hospital. And now we know that with the mitral clip therapy, for patients with heart failure and mitral regurgitation, that we are making a significant impact in improving the quality of these patients' lives. And now we also know we're extending their lives too. At the University of Virginia, we're the one of the few sites that offered availability of a mitral clip in some format of a continued access trial or similar devices on ongoing investigation because we believe, based on the data we saw from the COAP trial, that this can truly help our patients.